he quit the week before. And he goes, uh, I can't do this. And I'm like, Dwayne, you are my secret weapon on this movie. And I wrote him this long letter of all the actors I worked with. They said they were scared to do something and how it turned out. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry that I brought you into this. I just wanted things to be the way they used to be. And I wanted to do this small movie, Ambulance, because of what I wanted to do wasn't about the action, it was about the study of tension. Mm -hmm. So we shot it very fast and uh, a great cast. It's fun to watch it with a, with a big audience because it's, it's an intense movie and uh, you just see their body language. When they're like still, that means it's like they're, they're into it. Tension, so. yeah. I mean, and it's also just, I mean, so, but the thing is, like, it's also so intimate inside of the ambulance, but of course you also bring the bayhem all around it. Everything is right, going right, around. Right. I did not make up that word, by the way. That was my crew. That, that was, was my crew. I'm impressed. That's why I will take that. I will take that. I've trademarked that name, by the way. Okay? There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Most of this movie has you guys within an ambulance. Did you ever get kind of the long road trip feel of, God, I gotta just get the hell out of this car? I would say it's easy to to want to get out of that space, but also it's easy to just say, you know what, this is my my little corner and, and I'm just gonna rest here because as soon as, it, as soon as you get out, you gotta get right back in, you know what I mean? So sure. it's interesting. Sometimes you just find, sometimes you get frustrated with it and then other times it's like, look, this is just where I am for the day and for the rest of the day. So this is this is just my own my own space. I mean, in truth, I think being in that small space and then trying to act in that space, making it it's pretty difficult. You just start realizing about you know the people who actually do real job in that space, mm. saving people's lives. And you know we were shooting the movie in a in the middle of the second wave in Los Angeles, yeah. and everyone was you know talking about first responders and EMTs, and we were in this ambulance shooting these sort of crazy scenes. I just thought. What an extraordinary job yeah. to get what they get done in that small space. I mean, we could hardly act in it, sure. let alone get anywhere close to saving someone's lives. Saving lives, yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a life-saving surgery in the ambulance that was completely real, set up by two trauma doctors. I'm FaceTiming with an anatomically correct dummy body. Every part is, is real anatomically. How far she has to do, and I'm not going to be graphic, but what's going down? That's what will go down because they were uh, they're FaceTiming. These are guys, these are doctors that have w worked with uh, trauma bullet surgeries. Uh, and I said, this is the tools they have. What would happen? And it's intense. It's an intense moment. And believe it or not, those two guys talking, the doctors, uh -huh. those are the real doctors. The doctors. <laughs> those <laughs> are the real doctors. That's awesome. All right. That is super cool. That's honestly one of my favorite moments in the movie. It was so cool to do because, you know, prepping for it and educating myself on what that looked like and what that process was and really speaking to professionals and educating me on the process and then being there and they had a real dummy with every single piece of, you know, insides that I needed and it was so real and I mean there was a moment that I was hyperventilating because she's going through so much emotions at once not only because of the surgery because she's doing what she's been wanting to do her entire life and so it's a roller coaster of emotions and I remember at a moment I hyperventilated so much and my hands cramped up I could I, I had golem claws well, and a panic attack yeah from a panic attack I, from hyperventilating from <sighs> the breathing and the nerves and, and those moments become so real it's like those things that you push yourself and you really feel it on your body but when you see it on screen it really works you know I, I you I am really having a panic attack in that scene what do you want just gonna borrow it I got a cop shot I gotta get him to the hospital I'm gonna need you to help us why don't you help us we're doing hostages now this one you get pretty you get real self-referential with actual like quotes from the rock because the younger generation can quote my movies now better than me sure All right, <laughs> bad boys has sort of become cultish uh uh, and I was, we were making fun of Dwayne Johnson, who I know I've worked with. Uh, I think I put that in the script. Sean had just, Sean Connery had just passed. And so uh, he meant a lot to me in my career. Sure. Yeah. I mean, do you think that you're at a point in your career? Because this is also coming after your awesome uh, cameo in Bad Boys for Life. Right. Like, do you think you're at a point in your career where you're kind of just like, I, I know who I am in pop culture. And oh, yeah. Diving yeah. Into it? yeah. I mean, and I can make fun of myself and uh, uh, have no problem making yeah. fun of other people. And I, I, it's, making a movie's got to be fun. Sure, sure. You know, and uh, there it's intense. It's a war, but it's, it's a... Uh, uh, to me, I love shooting. When you when you get the chance to work with um, the type of actors that Michael got in this film, I think that 
it's really cool when you have actors that have input and have a very clear sense of what they're really trying to bring to the table. Um, sometimes, you know, it depends on the project. The director dictates what it's going to be like. But once in a blue moon, you get really proactive actors that are like, I very, very much feel like this is the way that I should go. And that allows for a creative powwow, you know, and I... Um, it was fun because I really wanted to make sure um, that Cam felt a bit more, uh, even more than it was already on script, uh, layered and yeah. and nuanced, and and to have less of like I'm in a panic and I'm caught up in, the, in an ambulance and more emotion. And yeah, we expanded a lot of her stuff and really built onto that. And and Michael really added a lot. I mean, a lot of the end scenes are added to the movie and he really cared that scene with the little girl was added afterwards and he really cared about making her the heart of the movie and I'm just really grateful that he cared that much. You're going and making choices and you're running and gunning the whole time. You know, you're giving him everything. I mean, as an actor, it's like you're giving him all different choices of all different levels. You know, when I watch the character that he created that I sort of threw choices at him with, yeah. I realized, Huh. Guy yells a lot, you know, um, <laughs> and and a lot of that's just him going, try this, try that, yell that, blah, 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 you know, and it's it's a sort of very ordered chaos, you know, mm -hmm. but that energy that he gives you is all in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, definitely, my character does a lot of yelling. I mean, I think that also shows how Mike Michael he has a he has a structure, a uh, structure that was given to us by Chris Fedick. Uh, and you know, it's a it's a really tight structure, and he knows the vision enough to let us play and improv uh, and, you know, improvise and improve upon the relationships and, and, and on the scenario. So it was all within a, you know, a pretty uh, known tight structure. I've gotten to shed this ultimate fear of the concept of feeling like you don't belong there and sort of owning why you're there and the confidence of why you're there. And I feel when you really achieve that, then you become more open to play with an, a director and let someone direct you. And I sort of let go of control. And I think that that's sort of where I'm at. You know, I learn my lines, I learn what backstory I want, or I think, or it f feels honest to my performance and my heart. And then I get to set and I let someone else's input and their outside perspective and their eyes show me something I haven't seen before. And that always allows you to become, I think that the greatest actors do that. And that's what really brings different traits to them onto characters because the director seeing stuff that we don't do and we tend to go to what's comfortable for us so I I really enjoy that hey, don't you move you think you're so tough with that gun no daddy relax I gotta get back to my wife and my son does your wife know you're up banks one of, honestly, my favorite movie of yours is Pain and Gain, and I love that movie so much. And a huge part of it is just the performance that you get out of Dwayne Johnson is phenomenal. I mean, it's my favorite of his career. He, he literally, he literally, uh, he quit the week before. And he goes, uh, I can't do this. And I'm like, Dwayne, you are my secret weapon on this movie. And I wrote him this long letter of all the actors I worked with, they said they were scared to do something and how it turned out. And he goes, okay, okay, all right. He was brilliant in that movie, and it really is an amazing performance. That movie was always a, a, a you know, I, I, I read the story. It's a very long, screwed up crime, and uh, it was always like a passion project of mine. I made it for $22 million. We did it all around my house in Miami. I would drive a, mo a moped to the set. That's how close it was. I mean, we would do things, because all the cops know us in Miami. And Mark Wahlberg, we get in a van, and I got Dwayne, we got a dead body, we got like uh, Anthony Mackie, and I got a camera and just a sound man. We are laughing, and Mark is just driving illegally through the city, all right? <laughs> and then like a cop would see him, and he goes, oh, hey, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fun. That's yeah. guerrilla filmmaking. And uh, uh, I had a great time doing that.